only 20 feet of meat. Okay, so now we're at the peak of the hike that I did around four kilometers, maybe 600 meter elevation coming up. It's called Uswan Bawi Rock. And really cool views over here. And the nice thing about doing this hike now in autumn is you can see the colors are changing. The leaves, you know, the, aut with the autumn foliage. So it makes it really beautiful. It's not too hot. And yeah, perfect hiking conditions. So that's the rock everyone comes to look at. Let's call it like the, it's known as the wailing rock because I think when it's windy, it whistles as the wind goes through it. And then you can see the ocean. That's where I'm actually staying in a city called Sokcho. And this trail is very well developed. I mean, there's like stairs everywhere. There's railings throughout. So, can't really get lost. Now I'm going to head back down and hopefully do another trail, maybe the waterfall trail. Better oh, duck this down. Maybe I'll take you to another staircase and we're going to look at the views over there. So I got here with public transport from Seoul, from Seoul Express bus terminal, bought a ticket to Sokcho. It was around 23,001. Then from there, you take bus number seven and then it brings you here. So you can do it as a day trip. However, I'm going to spend the night at Sokcho because to escape Seoul, it's cheaper. There's a beach, I can swim and I probably might be back here tomorrow to do a multi-day hike. So I, I'd rather spend more time here than do it as a day trip because then it's rushed, you know. It takes like, oh gosh, it takes like three hours maybe to get you each way. So then you end up spending more time traveling than hiking. So yeah, I'm going to be hiking for three days here. I, I hope this is day one, hike one. And if there's time when I get to the bottom, I'll do hike two. Okay, I like this because it's, it's no stairs now. So this is one of the most popular hike um, in Sri Lanka National Park. <laughs> 